So you can always find the relative atomic mass or RAM of an element by looking at the mass number in the periodic table. Try and work out the percentage composition of each element in sodium hydroxide. Multiply that by 100 because we're trying to calculate the percentage here. We can use these results to work out the empirical formula. Let's take a look. One mole of a gas is the amount of gas that contains 6 times 10 to the 23 molecules. It means that there's going to be 6.023 times 10 to the 23 particles of carbon present. They're going to have the same number of particles, but they're going to have different masses. Inefficient, wasteful processes have low atom economies. Now, the amount of product produced in a reaction is called actual yield. And you can use this equation to do this. 